Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy. I'm a math tutor from London, and today I'm going to teach you some basic mathematical concepts. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do logarithms. Now, I have one handy trick for logarithms, and it works throughout. So first of all, we need to know what the basics of a logarithm is. So first of all, we know this. 3 squared is equal to 9. This means 3 times 3. 3 squared means you write 3 two times and it's equal to 9. So 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. So you've written a 3 three times. And that's equal to 27. So 3 cubed is equal to 27. Now, a logarithm basically undoes this process. So if I was to write this, log 3, 9, this says to me 3 to the power of what is equal to 9? So we know that 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9, so the answer is 2. So equivalently, log 3 of 27, you just have to say it to yourself, 3 to the power of what is equal to 27. So we know that 3 cubed, or 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So the answer is 3. So equivalently, if we looked at the log 2 of 16, this says 2 to the power of what is 16. Now, that means 2 times 2. How many times do we need to multiply 2 by itself to equal 16. Now, 2 times 2, that's 4. 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. So 2 cubed is 8. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. So 2 to the power of what is 16? Well, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So the answer there is 4. And that's the basics of logarithms. So a couple of things you need to know about logarithms, some identities you need to know, I'm going to cover now. So we, we know for sure that x to the power of 0 is 1. No matter what x is, it can be any number, but to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So what is this then? Log x1. This, this is x to the power of what is equal to 1? Well, the answer has to be 0 because x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And using that term, x to the power of what is 1, will give you the answer 0 every time. OK, so a couple of identities with logarithms. We have this, the logarithm of x, y. This is the log of x multiplied by y. This is the identity, log x plus log y. OK, so when they're multiplied together in the brackets, they then add outside the brackets. And similarly with divide, if we have x divided by y, well, quite obviously we get log x minus log y. There's a couple of useful logarithms that will help you throughout. And there's one more, log of x to the power of d is equal to d log x and that one is exceedingly useful. Okay so finally there's one type of logarithm that everyone uses it's very common and it relates to the natural number e. This natural number is it's a bit like pi it's, it's just a number it's equal to something like 2.71 something 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 something. It's a bit like pi but it's used a lot with logarithms. Now the way we write log base e of say 10, instead of writing the log base e, we write this, ln 10. And that literally means the natural logarithm of 10. And that's it, that's all you need to know about e, exactly the same principle. So this means e to the power of what is equal to 10. And I can't do that off the top of my head, but you put it in a calculator and you can work it out. So this thing here is called ln, and it's the natural logarithm of 10. And that's how to use logarithms.